Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time visiting, uh, glad to have you on board. This uh, video I wanted to take an opportunity to do an equipment series and I wanted to start with my tractor. I have a Mahindra, it's a 1538 is the model number. They manufactured these between 2016 and 2018 and the one that I have here is an open cab. It's a 38 horsepower engine. It's got a rear PTO. It has an available mid PTO that I would have to install that I will at some point. And <clears throat> it's got the bucket loader attached to it. And I've added a few accessories to that. So the intent of this video is to kind of talk about how I use the tractor the most and, um, how I plan to use it, what I was looking for when I bought it, uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So what we've got here is just kind of a typical day when I'm out clearing land for around the house. Uh, so I'm just dropping some trees and getting ready for moving stuff out into the field or into brush piles. And these trees came down pretty nice, a few small maples. And now for a rather large cherry tree, which should give me a good opportunity to show you all the ways in which the tractor uh, is used in like an average day situation for me. And once I get all these trees on the ground, I cut them up into, you know, pieces that uh, I can use on the mill or pieces that are easy to maneuver with the tractor. Uh, the bigger cherry here, I'll be keeping some of that stuff for the mill. The smaller pieces of maple, I'll be using my draw bar on the back of the tractor here. And I've got these hooks on the draw bar and my log hauler little teardrop there. Uh, meaning I can really haul up to three sections of tree at once. So with this, all I do is back up to whatever log or tree or thing that I need to drag. I put a choker chain around it and I just drag the log to wherever I need it. In this case, out to the field. And then I'll maneuver that into my cherry wood pile. here I'm going to show another use. I found these pad eyes on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. I welded them to the back of the bucket and right here you can see it moves the center of gravity to right below the um, lifting mechanism for the, the uh, bucket loading arm and that actually increases the lifting capacity quite a bit. So if I used forks I would be limited to about 1200 pounds or so on the tractor. But with that set up there, I can lift up the full 1,600 pound rated capacity because I'm right at where the braking force is. Uh, and then um, here, I'm just showing off the easy uh, attachment. So I can switch attachments between the Bobcat and the tractor pretty easy. Uh, and here, I'll go ahead and put the forks on uh, so you can see how this works. And really, you just uh, flip two levers and tilt the arm forward, lower the bucket arm, and then drive backwards. And here you can see driving into place with the mechanism tilted forward, I lift up, catches a French cleat, and then I can hop off, lock those two levers in place, one, and two and there you go the forks are now attached to the tractor and I can go use those the forks are really handy uh, especially for brush I would love to have a grapple I that would be kind of ideal to have a grapple because then I could just sort of crunch things together I'd be able to take a lot more but these forks are really 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 useful so typically uh, smaller pieces of wood uh, will be used. I can just maneuver those, but more than likely what you'll see is what I'm about to do here. I take the tops of the trees, I drag them out using a lifting strap or a choker chain, 
till I get it close to my firewood pile and then I'll cut the longer sections into pieces that I can manageably lift and put onto the fire pile and then I just use the tractor forks to lift everything up and deposit it onto the firewood pile. As you can see here, I can actually lift quite a bit, not like weight wise, but size wise with one scoop. Uh, and if I was really trying to move this stuff like a long ways, I could kind of strap it in with a, a ratchet strap to make it a little bit easier, at least to get to the, the final destination. But this really works out well. Uh, I've kind of shortened this up for you a little bit. But after chainsawing everything, this really only takes me like 10 minutes to get this all onto the firewood pile and uh, minimal effort, energy exerted on my part. So really works out well. Um, really enjoying this tractor. So, the Mahindra 1538. Do I like it? Absolutely. Do I think it's a good tractor? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to anybody looking for a subcompact tractor to do moderate work around their property or yard, or what have you? Do I not like anything about it? Uh, a regret possibly is the lifting capacity. As I mentioned, some of the newer tractors in the same category, so in the subcompact 38 to 45 horsepower tractors will lift about 2,200 pounds. Or the Mahindra, and I think it's maybe just age, this is a little bit older tractor, uh, will only do about 1,600 pounds. Other than that, it ticked almost all of the boxes for what I wanted out of a tractor. It's got the front end loader with the quick attachment so I can switch out between the forks and the bucket uh, and a few other type attachments I can get a grapple for it once I get the third accessory uh, attachment set up on the front uh, I can get a PTO mid-mount PTO installed it's capable and ready to go on this tractor so that I can hook up a belly mower but more importantly a front mount snowblower with a thousand feet of driveway here in central New York next to the lake we can get you know, upwards of 100, 150 inches of snow in a season, I'm gonna wanna be able to move a lot of snow and not have to look over my shoulder on a PTO or rear mounted uh, snow blower. Uh, it has 38 horsepower. It's got four wheel drive. It's got the live clutch, so I can control whether or not the tractor's moving but keep the PTO engaged. It's not an HST. Uh, it's got the differential lock. Um, yeah, it kind of checks all the bells and whistles that I really needed out of a tractor. Um, some of the desires, as I said, the lifting capacity. Someday I'd like to have a cab on this, really only for the winter. If I'm going to be out snow blowing a bunch and, you know, we can have heavy snow days, it'd be nice to have a cab on this. Um, I don't really care about having, like, the heat in there, but it's more just to keep... The snow when it's really blowing off of you is uh, night and day so at some day an upgrade would be to a tractor that has a cab on it um, other than that I absolutely love this tractor it's my first tractor and I'm not disappointed I found this on tractor house I think it's dot com or tractor house dot net uh, I think I paid uh, Fourteen and a half thousand dollars for it. Um, it's a pretty good price. Everything else that I've seen uh, comparable to this tractor was in the eighteen or so thousand dollar, nineteen thousand dollar range. So keep your eyes peeled, and you can find a reasonable tractor for a reasonable cost. It has these quick. Let me show you these. I like these a lot. The quick um, load and unload uh, set up here for the rear mount 
for the, the three-point hitch. That's actually super convenient. It works really well. Um, I would definitely have that on any other tractor I have in the future for, for just convenience purposes when you're trying to do this stuff one by yourself, one-handed. Um, but yeah, she's a beaut. I like it. Uh, 38 horsepower, uh, somewhere in that category. I'm not going to say it has to be a Mahindra. Uh, can do quite a lot, quite a lot. Uh, for log sizes, if you're like thinking, I want to do this for operating a mill, 1,600 pounds is deceiving. Um, you can actually lift a pretty decent sized log. So the largest log I've been able to lift with that is a green ash tree that was 24 inches in diameter and about 12, 11 feet long. Um, about 28 inches in diameter. And that was, I couldn't do it on the forks, but I could do it with my little uh, lifting setup on the bus. Just wanted to show you all for reference here. I've got a black locust that's about 30 feet long here. And I averaged that to about 10 inches in diameter. It might be a little bit smaller, but uh, that right there should weigh pretty close to 1,500 pounds or so. And the Mahindra actually lifts that pretty easily. I would not drive this anywhere because it's so long and it makes the tractor so off balance that, I mean, this thing probably would just tip over, but uh, plenty of guts here, plenty of guts. If I end up needing to move anything bigger than that, I'll have to devault over to the Bobcat that I have uh, access to. It's not mine, I'm borrowing it from my father-in-law and uh, that has proven extremely helpful because for some bigger logs, um, bigger than like 24, 30 inch, the Mahindra just can't quite do it. So I have to end up using the, uh, using the Bobcat and that's got a 22, 2300 lift capacity and that thing will lift a lot. I think the biggest I've had on that is a hard a red maple that was 14 feet long and 20, eight ish inches in diameter it was a very big tree and the, the bobcat handled that but the tractor wouldn't even consider that as an option so i uh, hope you found this review helpful uh, and what i was looking for and what i use just in a tractor um, and let me know if there's any other equipment that you're interested in me reviewing or talking about and how i use it how happy i am with it or anything that i would change uh, and the reasons why. If there are any more questions about the tractor or how I use it, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you for following along. I appreciate having you for the ride. And we'll talk to you next time. Adios. Having fun on a tractor. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>